Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to attempt to make an Insta-worthy pie. Now, there's this Instagrammer called The Pious, I love the name, who has inspired me to make this video. As you can see from my pictures, I've made a few pretty pies, but nothing to the level of her Insta-worthy celebrity pies. So if you want to see a real pie maker that is Insta-worthy, then please check out the links below, both to her Instagram and her YouTube channel. And let's get pie making. I am whipping up my pie crust. Now this isn't a full tutorial really, it's more of an explanation of how I'm doing things since I'm not the best at this. Um, whenever I make pie crust, I always put in flour and butter into the food processor and then take it out and then add my water. You just get a lot more control if you add the water outside of your food processor. I also want to add that all of my ingredients are ice cold for maximum flakiness. I mostly had to freehand sketch this and then I'm cutting out all of the pieces so that I can kind of create a little stencil. And please comment down below if you know who this celebrity I am trying to depict is. My friends guessed Hillary Clinton, Lady Gaga, Hillary Duff. So if you guys have any guesses, please comment. And this is also why I thought I maybe didn't do such a good job of this. <laughs> There's really not one way to do this. I haven't actually seen many people make these over the top pies. So I'm kind of just doing what I think is right and hoping for the best. I would suggest that if you are going to try this method of putting the cocoa powder on and using your own homemade stencil, that you don't use paper like I'm doing. It's just all I had on hand. I would probably use parchment if I did this again, or I would try to find that clear paper that you know your teachers used to write on overheads with. I'm adding in all the details with a very thin brush and some edible food coloring. I debated whether I should do the coloring first and then bake it or bake it and then color it and I decided to do it before I put it in the oven and it seemed to work out so I'm happy with that decision. I've worked with fondant a lot and I've also done a lot of sugar cookie decorating as you've seen on my channel but I've really never done this with a pie at all and I've only ever made pie crust maybe a handful of times. So working with pie crust is a very different game because you need to make sure that everything remains cold. So after you've put all those details on, it has to go in the fridge for a very, very long time. I found this filling recipe off of the internet. I will link it down below. It's a very simple recipe and I hope it turns out well. I've actually never eaten a pie with this type of chocolate filling before where you bake it. So we shall see if it's delicious or not. Everything went into the oven for about 35 minutes and voila, there is my pie. Now I'm not sure if it's Insta worthy because I'm not sure she's so recognizable. It does say bend and snap in honor of a movie that is coming out soon. So we shall see if you know who this is. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to be part of this sweetie fam. I upload every day at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time daily, but sometimes I have a double upload, so be sure to hit that notification bell. Bye!